Hey there, it's Crafty Jennabug. I have these two molds that are really cool. They are made by Iron Orchid Decor. This one is like large flourishes, and this one is a bunch of different ornate keyholes. Today, I want to try to use a hot glue to fill these in and make little, um, little keyholes to put on junk journals. Thought it might be fun. And flourishes. So we're going to do, we're going to attempt to use some different colors of, um, glue in a glue gun. I have a ton of different colors. Um, and we're going to give this a shot and see how it works. See how I like it. I am heating up my glue gun and we will get started once it's ready. All right, the gun the glue gun is hot, so we are going to get started. I have a gold glittery um I have a gold glittery um glue stick in here. stop there and see how I like it. Alright, while that cools, I'm going to try a flourish with a different glue gun using a blue colored glue. Right, that's heating up. I'm so sorry. Alright, that one is going to be left to dry. These feel cool enough to extract now. So why don't we do that? Oh, that comes out really easily. Hmm. Interesting. It's neat. It needs some trimming. But there it is. I could always paint it. I'm not sure. It's not perfect, of course. It's hot glue. Um, some of it is shiny and some of it isn't. So this would probably be one I paint. And then we've got some cracking down here where I uh, didn't layer it properly. Of course, I chose one of the most difficult ones for my first piece, but I like it. It's not too heavy like metal would be. I could color, you know, I could paint that with some gold paint. Maybe I wasted the, uh, the gold glitter on it. Let's see what this one is like. It definitely needs some trimming. So they definitely need trimming and a coat of paint. So I think I'm going to switch maybe to just plain white. 
and do some more of these because these are really cool I'm enjoying them and they're not they're not gonna weigh down a journal I mean they might melt if they get too hot but a lot of things melt when they're too hot so I'm gonna do this again with a different color all right this one had some black and then some clear and I start I wanted to use white I'm, I'm just gonna go with that So whatever comes out, I'm going to end up painting it anyway. Let's go with this one. I want to see how well these come out. All right, so that's one. Let's try... I really like this one down here. It looks like leaves. got the gun hot so I might as well go for it right work while the gun is hot isn't that the saying this one looks cool this one they all look really cool honestly oh what did I do that for that was stupid I'm gonna let cool let's pop this out not that it is cool enough to handle this is so neat okay okay I'm not mad about it that was interesting I think I'm seeing I mean, depending on how these come out, I think I may have figured it out. I do like the texture in it, though. So it's still kind of rubbery. Are these harder now? They're gonna stay rubbery. Maybe I will attempt another flourish in white. Sorry, started without ya. cool and then I'll pop them out some of these are cool enough now okay. Miss a little bit. there we go okay all right now I'll pop these out now like I said these I will paint of course you can't tell the detail in this one because of the different color but that won't show up as much when it's painted let's see we did this one next this one I was most curious about because I love plants it looked like leaves yeah, it, defi oops. it definitely needs to be trimmed, but I like that one. I think that's pretty cool. All right. 
right. All right, I'm gonna pop these two out. Looks really cool. I mean, this might not be the best sculpting medium ever, but I think I can work with that. My technique has definitely seems to have improved. All right, I mean, I could also do this with clay. And I bet that's what it's intended for. Yeah, I think it's intended for clay. Because these molds are food safe, oven, microwave, refrigerator, and freezer safe. safe oven safe up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Freezer safe to negative 104 Fahrenheit, dang. So yeah, I bet I could put some Sculpey in these. Okay, we're gonna let these finish drying and then we'll be back to check them all out. All right, these have cooled. I, I did a, a dumb thing and touched it while it was still hot. So the back looks weird, but I could always take that off. So I've got some air bubbles. But they look neat. Got some air bubbles, but they look pretty neat. Now I want to try these out with some clay. Hmm. These would be really cool on the front of a junk journal though. I wonder how these would do in a regular silicone mold. I don't know how hot the glue actually gets, if it would melt my mold or not. So that is something to consider. You know what? I think I want to find out. All right, I decided to play around with this silicone mold I have. I wanted to see how, since, these two molds are very heat resistant, and I'm not quite sure how hot my uh, glue guns get. I wanted to test it on a um, one of the silicone like candy molds I use for resin. Um, I have two of these, so I'm not. I have two of these, and they were really inexpensive, so I'm not worried about messing one of them up. I just want to try a few things. Um, with it because it might be cool to have some of these things, some of these numbers. I like this little asterisk. So let's see. That sticks up really far. Wonder if I can trim that. Yeah. All right. I am waiting for my glue gun to heat back up, and I'm gonna trim this off camera. <laughs> See how that goes. In the meantime, I think I'll make <laughs> why not make another keyhole? I'm kind of becoming addicted. I think I'll let those dry. Let me unplug this. Bloop. All right, are these dry enough? Mayhaps. Let's see. Eh. 
Could be worse. Could be better. Well, that one came out better than this one. Oops, I have a string. This one has some beveled edges, whereas this one came out the way I intended it to. But now I know these can hold up to the hot glue. And that bee is just horrific. Okay. So the bee was waste. The bee is not not good. Okay. So I won't be doing any more of those. It was a worthy experiment. I thought. All right, these have dried, so let's pop them out. All right, it's not perfect. I'm definitely gonna have to uh, do some fixing, but I'm still not mad about it. Oh, that one is cool. I really like that one. I like that one a lot. And finally, this one, very cool. So these are all the ones I made. I think I might try painting on them. Not sure about these. Part of me wants to keep them as they are, but some of it is shiny and some of it is matte, and that just messes with me, so I think I might end up painting those. This one, you know, this could be a lot of fun. I really am tempted to just leave this one as it is and just clean it up because it's giving me marble vibes and I love it. Why won't you focus on my hand? There we go. Yeah, this one gives me like marble vibes. Not marvel, marble, like marble, the rock, the stone, whatever. Um, so I think I might keep that one as it is. Just clean up some of these edges center part. I don't even want to use craft knife. Alright, I think I'm going to try to clean some of these up. Let's zoom you in a bit, huh? Alright, I feel better about that one. Like I said, I think I'm just gonna leave this one as it is. I like that it has that marbly nature. I'm gonna clean up the rest of these off camera and then we'll come back and paint them. All right, I've got these all trimmed up. They look much better, much better now. Hi, kitty. They look much better now. Um, I don't think I'm going to paint them all right now. I think I'm going to leave them the way they are uh, and paint them as needed. This one I'm not going to paint at all. I like it. I think it's funky. I think it will work well as like a faux marble. The other ones, I might leave these two white completely or maybe add a little bit of like distress look so that it looks more like stone. I think I might just try painting one of them. Maybe one of the gold ones, because I know they're going to need to be repainted. So maybe I will do this one, since it's pretty simple. Uh, I don't want to paint them all right now, because I don't know what color I will want them later when I'm putting them in a journal. I don't want to just paint them all gold and then be like, oh, well, I want this, but it doesn't work, and have to start the process all over again. So uh, I'm just going to paint this guy, I think. It's simple. It won't take much time or paint. 
and it'll give me an idea of how well the paint adheres to these. Um, I'm just going to use a an acrylic metallic paint, I think, uh, because it's what I have. And if it doesn't work well, I'll try a different paint. So I'm going to get my workstation set up for painting, and I'll be right back. All right, I've got this little guy. I'm just going to use some. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to use some folk art enamels, metallic gold. Hopefully it does me right. I really just want to get an idea of how the paint will adhere to the hot glue. I've never painted on hot glue before, so we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. to do a second coat but I like the way it turned out I think because I have so much because I have so much paint on my palette I think I will try another one I think I'll try this one I'm just gonna cover the whole thing in gold <music> The gold one is definitely going to need another coat. You can still see bits of the glitter peeking through, which I'm actually not upset about. I think it's fine, even if I were to leave it with just the one coat. The white one obviously needs another coat. It might even need three coats, which is fine. No big deal. Granted, the metallic paint I'm, I used on it is for enamel. It's for... Um, glass and ceramics so it may not be um, may not be the right thing in this instance to use since I am painting on hot glue we will see I'm gonna let these dry and I will be back to do another coat all right this is dried as you can tell it still has a lot of white peeking through I'm going to paint it again with another layer. This will be the third layer of paint on this. Um, it may require a fourth. We'll see. This is definitely going to need a fourth coat. Starting to think painting over this isn't the best idea. Might be better just use whatever color I intend. It might be fun to do one in the black glue and then paint over it in gold or silver or even a, a bronze. Definitely more to experiment with. I'm not quite sure about the medium. So may not be the best use of my hot glue. <laughs> Gonna let that dry and we'll check it out later and decide whether or not I want to go through with a fourth coat. It definitely could benefit from one, um, but at the same time, it's a lot of work for a little, little itty bitty piece. So stay tuned. This is it dried after the third coat. You can still see some white peeking through. I'm going to give it one more coat and then I think I'm going to call it done. <laughs> Here is the entire collection of keyholes and decor items. Overall, I'm pleased. I do wish the paint adhered a little better, 
Like I said, I'm going to try and experiment with different types of paint. Uh, maybe the enamel acrylic paint I used was not the answer. So we will uh, I'm trying some more of those in the future. Probably experimenting off camera. That way I can come back and say, look, this worked. Or, hey, stay away from this. It doesn't work. <laughs> so uh, I think making these in the future, I will probably try to utilize the glue colors that I want. I really love how this one came out looking kind of marbly. All right, come on, focus. I really love how this one came out kind of marbleized. Um, so I may in the future like cut the glue sticks and stick them back together before putting them in the glue gun. Because this was, uh, I think this one started, had a little bit of clear, it had a little bit of black, and then it, I had a, a full white stick in it. So they kind of squeezed together and made this cool marble um, look. I want to experiment with that a little bit. The other ones, like the ones I did, the gold glitter glue, or it was clear glue with gold flecks of glitter in it, they turned out alright. Um, they were also the first ones I did. This one which I painted was also the um, gold glitter glue. They turned out alright. Lots of cracking. I'm not sure if it was just because it was a beginning technique or what. And then I painted this one with the gold glue and I think it turned out amazing. I'm really proud of that one. Looking forward to using it on a junk journal cover in the future. Um, then this one... This one took four coats of paint and it's still not completely covered. It's kind of difficult to see in person, but it's easier to see on camera. You can, you can see the white peeking through in many places. I'm not painting it anymore. Um, just doesn't seem worth the time at this point, and I kind of like it as it is. So that one is, I would say, is pretty much ready to go on a junk journal cover. Um, these guys up here, we're just going to pretend like they don't exist. I wanted to see it, how they would work in different molds. And I think this one was my favorite. It uh, looks the best out of those four. These I really love. They will look amazing on a journal. They look very uh, sculpted out of rock. Same with the blue one just enough um, little imperfections to really look like it was kind of chiseled out of rock. Overall, this was a lot of fun. I will attempt painting more of these in the future, possibly like when I actually have an idea in mind or when I know, when I have a journal in mind to use it on, so I know a color scheme and things like that. So I'm not just painting them to make more later, to paint more later kind of thing, you know what I mean? Um, so these are going to stay as they are for now, and I will just have them on hand for any future potential journals I make. So I hope you learned something. I hope you were inspired to play around with some hot glue and some molds. This was fun, and I learned a lot. I hope you did too. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.